This is a video chart presentation of Nova Gold Resources brought to you by AllPennyStocks.com. Nova Gold trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the ticker NG. It's our technical stock to watch for Wednesday. I scaled this into a six month chart. NG was in a pretty solid downtrend leading into these last six months. You can see it's basically trending sideways, caught in a little bit of a channel, actually in a little bit of a tighter range over the last three months or so, with some pretty definitive support and resistance points. So this is a chart we're going to keep on radar going forward this week to see if it's going to continue to make this slightly higher low and challenge this top end resistance of this smaller channel. See the MACD holding right around zero at this point. Pretty neutral reading. Should be expected as I mentioned. Price per share is kind of caught in a channel. Overall it's basically caught in a little wedge. The key point for the MACD at this point just to hold that zero mark. Drop a bullish cross of the 12 passing through the 26 EMA so the divergence is back in positive territory. Give hints that a bullish trend is happening. Slow so it's oscillating back and forth the price per share. It's a gauge of momentum. Ideally, I want to see it over top of 50. You can see it's registering just below that at this point. Again, I'll be looking for a bullish cross and a move back above 50 to show some more bullish momentum in the chart. Money flow index registering just below 50 against a very neutral reading. The stock price is basically right around its average over 14 day period. And the RSI's registering right at 50. That just tells me that the bulls and bears are struggling over gaining control of the momentum. So the basic look at the indicators doesn't give us any big hints about which direction this chart could be moving. It ultimately comes down to support and resistance. I'll draw this channel out real quick. And it's pretty easy to see this chart's been stuck between 4 and $5 now for several months. It's actually a pretty nice swing with these oscillations of 10 now up to about 25%. And given the fact the stock price is trying to hold the upper half of that channel right now, with the stock closing at 472 on Tuesday, what I'm looking for is the higher low to be held. And for these candles to break through this resistance point at $5 and come through and make a higher high. And ultimately what I'd be looking for is if that higher high can be made, the next level of resistance up around $6.25. Now clearly that's a nice move, a buck fifty a share from where it is right now. And if that sort of thing happens with that resistance being broken, I'd want to see it done on an increase in volume. Because that'll get momentum indicators like the RSI cranking much higher, showing a lot of strength. That should take the main trend indicator, the MACD, and have it punching through and making new highs and establishing an upward channel as well. Now the downside is the stock does pick up some secondary support right here around 450 and if it happens to fall through that I'd expect it to come right back down and test this four dollar level again. All in all though because it's rounding itself out I think it's one worth keeping an eye on right now to see if the upward pressure and increases in volume are going to start to accompany this stock. Those are the type of things that I'd be looking for in the NG chart. But as always, merely my interpretation, I'm not a financial consultant, strongly encourage you to do your own proper due diligence, consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the allpennystocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by Allpenny Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.